today we're looking at the EOO mode in the harm as a way to point our pod or our HUD and determine the range uh, of the uh, threat. Here's the setup. Uh, we've got harms. We have some uh, JSAWs and JDAMs cooling down. There we go. And aligning. And then we have our harm set in EOO mode. And as you can see, it populates various emitters. We can cycle through those. To make it a bit uh, easier to pick in a target rich environment, we can go to class, set it to hostile, which is the left button there. And now this will only filter out emitters that are uh, of the type used by the opposing force. And on the right hand side here, we have our flare pod. And what we can do is we can pick an emitter. We're going to go for one of these search radars here. And as we cycle in the HUD, we get indications of the vector from which this is coming. We're going to uh, steer for that vector. And all the while, we're going to use our pod and velocity vector slave. Roll out of the target set using TDC the press and then slew down on the pod until the indication in the HUD is roughly in the box required. Right here it will tell us the emitter is approximately 33 miles away. Now we know the range to target and we can locate the target for the delivery of our uh, of our uh, weapons. So if we were just to launch this uh, harm we don't need to do this, but if we want to use any of the other weapons, this allows us to locate the emitters uh, using the pod itself. Let's see. And we've got something here. There's a radar right there. Zoom in a little bit. And here it is. Designate. And we have a target point. Now we can disable our harm or just switch off to our JSO. I for the target. In range. Echo. Should have overridden the harm. This was a demonstration of something else as well. Uh, the harm uh, override was disabled and therefore the harm entered self-protect mode and allowed me to launch uh, at that SA-11 site. That was not planned. And I think an SA-15 defended this shot. If you don't have a pod, here's what you can do. Put your harm, set it up similarly, in TOO mode. This will allow you to cycle through the emitters using your RAID button. And then push SCS control switch up. Sensor control is now on the HUD. Press TDC the press. It gives you a target point, which you can slew using your TDC very gently and just nudge it into the box. What this allows you to do is to uh, derive the range of the target um, emitter just there right there in your HUD so now we know that our target is 37 miles uh, away approximately which gives us a pretty good uh, harm uh, distance uh, let's just uh, get a little bit of speed a bit of altitude and we can hand off and with 34 miles we should be a pretty uh, we should have a pretty high probability of kill here Off it goes.
and good old SA15.